In the next series of questions, we're going to be simplifying some expressions. And if you look at this first one here, we have 3a plus 2b plus 4a plus 6b. Now these can represent anything. A could be apples. So we could have here, we could have three apples plus another four apples. So it's a nice easy way of thinking about these expressions. Now when we take the three apples and somebody gives us another four apples, what we have is seven apples. Then looking at the 2b and the 6b, well, if they were bananas, we'd have two bananas, another six bananas, we would have eight bananas, or 8b. So these letters, these variables, can represent anything. Let's have a look at another one. In this one here, we have to simplify some x terms. So 2x subtract 4x, that would be a negative 2x. And then I'm adding 3x, so that would give me 1x. Now in algebra, we don't write the 1, we simply write x. Look at a third one. So we've got some g and h terms here. So we've got this 4g term here, and we've got a negative 3g, which will just give me 1g, or just g. If you recall, we don't write the 1. And then we've got this plus 2h, and we're subtracting 3h, so that'd be negative 1h or negative h. Again, not writing in the 1. On this final question here, we've got multiple different terms here. So we're going to look for the like terms. So which term is like the xy term here? It is this one over here, the plus 2xy. So we've got 4xy and 2xy. We have 6 x y. Now we try and spot any other like terms. We have an x term here, and we also have an x term here, and 2x plus 3x, that is 5x, so plus 5x. And finally we look at the y terms. So we've got a negative 2y and a negative 3y, and that would give us negative 5y.